I'll always love you. How has the music quality been lately? The quality? Yeah. Well, you know, quantity is less than quality. Quantity, quality, you know? Quantity of band members. We don't need a lot of people in order to make good quality music. And I always think that people who are in the band, really, if they don't contribute to the music, then they shouldn't be in the band. And I've had a lot of experience with people, and I'm not going to have any more experiences anytime soon, so, you know, the music's great. It's great. It really doesn't, it's not an experience. Venues that you're playing, like an arena anywhere? Anything like that? Mm, yeah, uh, we have a few restaurants. I mean, we don't really want to disturb anyone, but we have a few restaurants. Like Guido's, uh, Italian places too. Um, Chinese. I mean, we got a lot of different venues, but there's not a lot of space in a lot of them. Does Steve go with you to these places? No, not for him. <laughs> like, silly question. He doesn't even eat restaurant food, he makes his own, doesn't he? Well, I wasn't really talking about the food, I was just talking about the space in the restaurant. I'm saying, like, there's not that much space. I mean, like, they were pretty big. Pretty big, but, you know, Steve needs more space than that. What's he do that he needs all this space? We don't really know. We, I hear some letters sometimes. I get, I get some letters and I listen to them from him, but... He doesn't really write me You that listen often. to his letters? Yeah. Who reads them? Robin. I don't read. I said I don't have experience. You don't read? Do you watch movies? Yeah. Uh, moving, moving images, as they call them, right? <laughs> yeah, I watch them. Yeah. What's your favorite one? This one. This one you're making right now? Yeah. Because all the other movies already happened. So they're not important. Right now. Right? They're not even important. They don't even exist anymore. I should have recorded them. I'm a great singer. Robin, Robin's a good manager. Steve? It's pathetic. It's pathetic. I'm with Steve a lot lately. How's your relationship? You know, they always say that the music from a piano is from the chords, like, like going against each other. Like, I don't really know what they look like, but they, they vibrate, you know? And they're not always going the same direction or, you know, they're in a conflict. But, you know, conflict can be good sometimes. And I think the music that I'm making now, like right now, is the best music I've ever made. So, why? You know, because I learned from my experiences with Steve, and you know, that was enough for me. Like I was done. You're done talking to Steve? No, I'm done with experiences. Like I had. Well, they don't exist, but I had them before. Before they didn't exist. I talk with Steve. I fight with Steve. They're good fights, though. You know, I fight with Steve, but they're good fights. They're great. They're very productive, and, you know, I get a lot of my lyrics from my fights with Steve. Like, they're direct quotations, actually. Like, <laughs> <laughs> say that one again. Dude. I get a lot of my lyrics from fights with Steve. <laughs> you know... I'm not really a creative person, but I have a thing I do called writing stuff down, 
And when Steve's fighting with me, <laughs> I'm not really paying attention. He's like yelling at me. I'm just writing this down because, you know, I'm going to need it later. It's my career. Like, I don't care what he has to say. Like, that might make him mad. I don't really know how he feels, but, like, I'm writing stuff good down. Where have you used some of these lyrics? <laughs> Which song? What songs have when I done it? In? You know, <laughs> I have a reputation. I have a reputation, and people heard of me for certain reasons, and it's all because I got into fights with people. You know, a, a lot of my songs aren't really good experiences I had. They're kind of just like, oh shit. Like, I don't want to tell people things, so I just like, kind of slip it under there, you know? Like, hi, I hate you. Like, not like that. Not like that mean, but I'm not mean. But Steve, you know, can't really make anything. <laughs> Your fans. You like them? Yeah. I love my fans, you know? I think some of these people are going around like... They say they like crosswalk slit, but you know, Steve doesn't need appreciation, you know. Steve doesn't do anything important. So these phonies call them, oh, I love crosswalk slit. Like, no, I am crosswalk slit. Like, why are we even talking about Steve? They're all mine fans. Like, yeah, I love my fans, too. But you don't like Steve's fans? What do you do when you see one of them? <laughs> I don't even recognize them. They're not people. Me. I mean, they're people, but they kind of like don't have faces, you know? Like, I just see them as kind of like blurry, like images. <laughs> like, they have like, they have arms, you know? And they're moving, but I don't really see their, their face, you know? They're, pre they're people. All people are people. I'm very, I have a very strong belief about that. I love my fans. Steve's death. What'd you think? What were your first thoughts? Why do you care? Are you a Steve fan? You know? I mean, if you really want to know, we were at a bar, and, you know, Steve went to the bathroom, and usually he just in there a while, you know, but then when he didn't come back, we started to worry. I mean, to the extent that we can worry, you know? So, uh, and then when he didn't come back, figured maybe he pissed himself poured a little booze on himself, you know, exploded, you know. We knew Steve really well, but, you know, it's kind of sad, actually. Like, he ended up buried underneath the bar or somehow. We don't know what happened in there, but we didn't watch the surveillance tapes. Like, it's too much. We don't want to know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> Take the, like, thing where's that? Uh, why didn't they exist computers so hard? Oh. Uh, wait. Oh I'll just go like this. I don't have a plan. <laughs> and it just na at naturally turns out really better than anyone else can do. Especially Steve. Wow! That was kind of like a Mickey Mouse. <laughs> I think they should use these for cartoons. Well, that kind of part. See, I just edit it. No, I don't like that part. Kind of cut spikes. Oh no, see, it's too harsh. The world's not ready for this. No. Where's Robin? Oh, the shit. Sorry about that.
That's not me. No, I can't even do this. Deal, and I'm a member of. What do you think about the people that say Steve is an active member of the band? Active? Wait, what is that? An active member. People that think Steve is actually doing the work, you're not. Let's serve it, I mean. You must not know what active means. Because active means you act. Active. It means it's going on right now. Acting means you're actually doing things. Doing stuff right now. Steve? He likes doing some things that aren't work, you know? That aren't productive to society. And I don't really know what he thinks he is. Because in my life, everyone judges everyone based on what they can do. And he can do anything. Except do something. You know what I mean? You can do anything but do something. That's how like, nothing. Yeah. Nothing? <laughs> but about your solo album, and uh, is Steve involved at all with that process? Do you know what Steve? Uh, no, no, I mean, do you know what a solo album is? Solo means soul, oh. Soul means son. O means, you, you know, like, oh. You know. Soul, oh, means son. It means that it's bright, it's bright upon you. It means that everything that you're doing is here for a purpose, so, you know, solo means I'm here, Steve, is all you gotta Is Steve? Where is Steve? Is he dead? You know, I don't know where he is, because I know he's dead, I don't know where he is though, you know, I know he's dead, but where is he? I don't know, I haven't seen him, I don't know. Where is he? I don't know. Where is he buried? Oh, where is he buried? Oh, underneath the bar. You know, I, I think I already told this story before, but one time we went to the bar and we were having a really fun time. I was the center of the party, you know, as always. And uh, we thought Steve just went to the bathroom, something like, you know, you know. But uh, <laughs> we thought he'd just be back in a couple minutes, but like we thought that maybe he just like shit on himself, maybe pour some, like, you know, and then like explode it. You know, like, we know Steve, we know Steve. Like, sometimes he does weird things like that, but you know, we didn't expect this. We didn't, we did not expect this. <laughs> Steve was underneath the building. I mean, like, that's where he was. I don't know where he is now, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't, he was there. Like, we heard on the news that he was underneath there, but where is he now? I don't know. They haven't had a new story in a couple weeks. We don't know. No. He could be anywhere. <laughs> uh, we should have he a... He could be anywhere. We should have a news reel of it and have that on there, like an interview with Mercutio. Yeah. What he's like for Steve. What, what was he doing his last final hours on Earth? You know, you ever read that book called Genesis? You know, God, the first couple days, he was really busy. He was really busy, you know? And, you know, Steve's not God. Steve's not God, you know? And he did the opposite thing. Instead of being really busy, you know, you know how God rested the last day? Steve did something the first day, and the de the rest, he rested. <laughs> you know? He's like a reverse God, you know? So, I don't know. What to say to Steve's fan base and how hurt they must feel right now that he's dead? Sorry? I don't know. What do you want from me? I mean, I mean, like, I love my fans. I love them. But you're not them, you know? You're Steve fans, you're not my fans, you know? I, my love only goes so far. My love only goes so far, people. So, don't even, don't even try to demand anything from me because I thought, like, you bought some of our albums, but it wasn't even for me. It wasn't even for me, it was for Steve, probably. You were never a crust fan, because I originated the crust. The crust came out of me, you know? The crust was my game, you know? So. No worries. <laughs> How did Crust Wexlet start? Who started it? I started it, you know? Well, maybe I didn't start it, you know, because it 
it came by the, my answer to someone's question. Because they said, oh, are you okay? Did you have an accident? And I said, no, it's just crust. And I was like, no, it's just crust. It's just crust. <laughs> crust. That could be a band, you know? Like, that's how things, those things start. You know? You just have an idea. I'm going to ask you, oh, did you have an accident? Like, you, are you sure you're okay? You know? And I just answer honestly about my condition. So, um, I am crossed. I am crossed. Crossed came from me. It was Steve then. Steve? Steve is my assistant. You know, Steve, you know, I write stuff down and he, well, like whatever, like the important <laughs> part is writing it down. I've always been that way. Who cares about the fans, you know? His fans, I mean, I love you, I love you guys. Um, um, who cares about the people that are actually, like, moving their hands to actually make the sounds, you know? All I care about is thinking about it. I, you don't have to do it. Steve is a doer. He's a doer of a whole lot of nothing and some stuff, but, you know, the things that you're... Did the green light appear? Yeah. Blinking the green light? Yep. Okay, Robin, do you think that all this crust business has gone to Mercutio's head? I think uh, Mercutio is probably the most rounded and realistic human I've ever met. Because he knows he's capable of anything and everything. So, no, I don't think it, it's gone to his head at all. If anything, he should probably be a little bit more confident. Wow, it sounds like you've known him for a long time. I've known him since he was a, a, a child, about two years old. What do you think about him at the time? I thought he was brilliant. I thought he was one of the brightest bulbs I'd ever seen. <laughs> Even then, he could have written an album, a symphony. You know, on, yeah, I think he played the piano at a, at a young age. Of well, course, he doesn't play any instruments now. He's I think he would be afraid to see how good he would be at any of those instruments. Wow, I thought he, I thought he just didn't want to do that stuff. He, so he's really thinking all this really through. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure he's thought through the career path of anything a human could do, and he's figured out how to do it. This is just what he he spends his time doing. So there's a whole another side of Mercutio that we haven't seen. There's three other sides. Only me and Steve have seen the other two sides. What is the side that he likes to show the public? What kind of persona do you think he wants to project? A persona of generosity. Philanthropy. <laughs> and kindness. Who does he want to help? Wow, I heard that they're having a really hard time. I think that Mercutio is a very interesting person to work with. Do you think that you have a long future together? With crust, I mean, not like personally, but... People in my life have a way of being shot to death. So, <laughs> so you think, are you worried about something may happen? I'm not worried about a single thing, really. Um, but then again, none of us were worried when Steve died. And looking back, we really should have been. There were a lot of red flags. Everybody, looking back, it was fairly obvious he would be shot to death. Do you think that Steve, if we were here today, would be very proud of Mer what Mercutio is doing. Even in life, Steve was proud of Mercutio. But he knew, I think he knew deep down that Mercutio is the real hero for the, the fans. Nobody really liked Steve. His own 
family didn't show up to the funeral. We went to it alone. So, so Steve had a sudden end. Do you think, do you think Mercutio had, would think anything would happen? Or do you think that he was shocked as everyone else? Well, nothing really shocks Mercutio, but I think he, he was a bit shaken, at least, by the event and by the funeral. Hold on. Hold on. Robin, where do you go? Robin? 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 So do you think, Robin, do you think that Steve, when he was going to the bathroom, he, was, he wasn't telling people what he was doing for a reason? Do you think? I think he was just drunk. Ah. Huh. I think he was very drunk. Mercutio seems to remember him vomiting on himself, pissing on himself, shitting on himself. A drunken mess. Wandered out to the street. That's where he met his end. He ended up underneath the bar. Underneath? Underneath the concrete. Wow. The bar. Nobody hits an unsolved mystery. How did he fit? He was crushed. By the building? <laughs> By the very building. We were all dancing on. Why do you think that they're? Why do you think the police haven't told much to the media? Do you think they're trying to hide from people? As far as I know, the body's never been moved. When Mercutio said he doesn't know if it's still there or not. It might very well be still there. Nobody has told me otherwise. Oh. It might be still there. Do you think there's a lot of these theories going on, kind of? People think that an event really didn't happen and that something else happened, you know what I mean? Several claim that it was a false flag, Steve's death, meant to inspire an uprising of some sort. <laughs> Wait, is it? Very much like the nematodes when they were killed. It inspired someone <laughs> Revolt. Oh, uh, sorry. I, I forgot to mention your long history with animals. Right, Would you like to mention first anything and about that? A marine biologist. Did you say that you used to work with dolphins? I not only work with dolphins, but I work with the most intelligent animals on the planet, the nematode. Unfortunately, the nematodes were also shot to death. That's horrible. Um, did you ever tell... It was a good death. Did you tell... Oh, that's what Mercutio would say. Do you think Mercutio... Did you ever tell Mercutio about it? Oh, he knows. How do you react? He, he, he's never surprised by anything. He probably knew. He, he knew beforehand, know. right? He probably knew beforehand. Oh, yeah. He probably seen the various newspaper articles about it. Who are some of these people that you say that they they believe in these false flag things? Um, a local radio host named Chet claims to have the Steve execution video, the videotape of Steve's death. He claims to have sole possession of it. D does... Is he a very reputable source? No. No, the man's insane. But only, I mean, nobody else really has any evidence about Steve's death. As I said earlier, the police didn't investigate it at all. At all. 
Do you think maybe Chet is profiting off of these, of this attention that he's making off of this tragedy? He's probably making more money than we are, but more than Cross Wexler. More than even Mercutio, who took out an insurance claim on Steve about ten days before the death. What? We may have to investigate this. I bet he knew, just knew it was going to happen. We need to talk to Mercutio about this. He didn't tell us. Who are you? Can't see myself. I don't know. But do you have anything to talk about? Steve, what would you tell him if you had, to, if you, if you came in here right now, don't, what would you tell him? I'd just say, stop. Don't do it. Don't do what? Whatever happened, I'd be like, don't do that. That ended up with your death. Don't oh, yeah. That, that would have helped him. Probably, it probably would have been the wisest thing I ever said to him. <laughs> wow, you're... That's so nice of you to say that. Well, you work with the nematode. You learn a lot of kindness. <laughs> I think now. Yeah. In this world, as big as the way I feel about you, I see a flitting...